In a world where financial stability is a cornerstone of well-being, many find themselves grappling with the stigma of bad credit. Today, we embark on a journey to explore a lifeline for those facing financial adversity, loans for bad credit. Welcome, everyone. I'm in today, we delve into the often misunderstood realm of loans for bad credit. It's a topic that affects millions, and we're here to shed light on the options available. Before we dive into loans, let's understand what bad credit really means. Bad credit typically results from a history of missed payments, high credit card balances, or even bankruptcy. It's like a financial scarlet letter that can impact various aspects of your life. Factors like payment history, credit utilization, and the length of credit history play a crucial role in determining your credit score. But fear not, because there are solutions. When it comes to loans for bad credit, two main categories emerge, secured and unsecured loans. Secured loans require collateral, while unsecured loans do not. Let's explore these options. Financial expert, secured loans, like home equity loans or secured credit cards, use assets as collateral, providing a safety net for lenders. Unsecured loans, on the other hand, are riskier for lenders and typically come with higher interest rates. Within these categories, we have installment loans and payday loans. Installment loans are repaid over time with fixed, manageable payments, while payday loans often come with high fees and short repayment periods. Found that installment loans gave me the breathing room I needed to repay without feeling overwhelmed. It's crucial to choose the right option for your situation. Now, let's talk about responsible borrowing. It's not just about getting a loan. It's about managing it wisely to improve your financial health. First and foremost, only borrow what you can realistically afford to repay. Create a budget, understand the terms of the loan, and make timely payments to rebuild your credit. Responsible borrowing is about making informed decisions. It's a stepping stone towards financial recovery and a positive credit history. Beyond traditional loans, there are alternative options that cater to individuals with bad credit. Let's explore some innovative solutions. Peer-to-peer -peer lending platforms, credit unions, and online lenders have emerged as alternative sources of funding. They often consider factors beyond credit scores, providing more inclusive options. I turned to a peer-to-peer -peer lending platform, and it was a game-changer. They considered my story and circumstances, not just my credit score. The ultimate goal is not just to get a loan, but to rebuild your credit. Let's discuss strategies for turning the tide. Start by obtaining a copy of your credit report, address any errors, and work on paying off existing debts. Consider credit counseling services to get personalized advice. Rebuilding credit is a gradual process. It's about demonstrating financial responsibility over time. Patience and persistence are key. As we conclude our exploration of loans for bad credit, Remember that your financial journey is unique. There is no one-size-fits-all solution, but with careful consideration and responsible financial habits, you can navigate the challenges and build a brighter future. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey. If you or someone you know is facing financial struggles, share this information and let's empower individuals to make informed decisions. Until next time, I'm signing off. Take care and stay financially savvy.